Who wrote these questions? <laughs> <laughs> So my name's Georgia Alice Smith. I'm from Warsaw in the West Midlands. My birthday is the 11th of June, 1997. That makes me a Gemini. Um, the best. My eye colour is brown. My height is five foot four. Sometimes five foot three. And this is my ID. My perfect day is waking up no alarm and not having anything in my calendar and then just seeing where the day goes. And that can involve anything. That could be going to studio on that day because I just decided to. I don't like things in my calendar, but I love to plan everything, so. I used to write stories and then I used to write poems, but I never finished them. Songs were what I finished. So maybe if I wasn't a singer, I would write poems or stories. I'd make a front cover, chapter one, first page, and then wouldn't write anything after that, and then I'd make a new story. I thought I was Nick Shower and Jackie Wilson because I used to like draw all the characters like that. <laughs> Biggest lie I ever told to my parents. I'm not really a liar like that, you know. Probably when I was 16, and I said that I'm going to stay at my friend's house, and we went to London. Teenage Fantasy, my song is based on that. I don't really have in between. I'm either like indecisive, or really focused, feeling good or feeling bad. And Falling Offline is called Falling Offline because that's how I felt from like past three plus years. Like, I don't know if I'm Falling Offline, can't tell. And the album, sonically, it's actually flying and then falling. It like begins quite up and then it has a switch and then it falls. Not very good at talking, like on camera, so have you not noticed I've been playing with my hands loads because I have to do something because I get nervous. The only time I don't feel like this is when I'm on stage. It's just... It's home, like it just feels right. Like some people won't be seen dead on stage, they'll be like, oh my God, this is so scary, but not for me, I love it. I feel like that's when I actually connect with people that listen to my music and that's when I know, all right, I'm doing okay here because everything else doesn't seem real. An album that I listened to as a kid and then when I listened to it older, Amy Winehouse Frank, because before I just loved the songs and loved her voice. And then when I was like 18, really understanding like what she was singing about. Has anyone recently changed your life? Mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, my answer's yeah. But it's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you are in love, everything's reciprocated. And you maybe don't know you're in love because the feelings you feel, you haven't felt before. Yeah. Am I missing anyone right now? Yeah. Do you think they're missing you too? Yeah, I think they're missing me. I see him soon. What would you say to someone now who just went through a bit of heartbreak? Wax and George Smith. Because there's definitely some songs there that you can uh, feel your way through your heartbreak. And I'm sorry that you went through heartbreak as well. Biggest fear? The unknown. And that's every single day. So, yeah. I don't like not knowing things. My younger self was naive, she was really fearless, didn't care, just did what she liked. I'm trying to be her now, to be honest. First thing I want you to notice about me is that, well, I just keep going. And I don't go up, give up on loads of things, whether it's in love or in friendships, in making music, in working out. Like, yeah, I just try not to hit that wall. 
a big mistake that I made early on. Oh, becoming a singer. <laughs> you think <I> <laughs> Because it comes with loads of things. It's not a mistake, but yeah, I've learned from that. I think I've definitely learned not to take things too personally. That don't get stressed all the time because someone said, okay, full stop. <laughs> Whoa. I haven't done anything wrong just because they said, okay. <laughs> There's loads of things I wish people didn't think about me, but I can't stop what people think, so just let people think. Think, think, think away about things that are not true. How would you want the world to remember you? The world's a big place, so... Um... Just as someone real, just want to people to remember how they felt when they listened to my music. Does that explain it? <laughs> I could not try and wink at anyone if they asked me. Right eye. <laughs> this is my left eye. Oh. Sorry. There we go, I'm winking. Why do you have to wink on that eye? Why can't you do that one? So if no one knew me, it wouldn't I'd just be minding my business in Warsaw.